Dividend paying ETFs, the sweetest dream of every investor seeking to get some extra passive income. We all know that these types of stocks tend to yield high dividends. Not only that, but in most cases they are much safer than regular stocks, due to the fact that they are a bunch of companies tied together. QYLD, SCHD, NOBL are just a small part of the most well-known dividend-focused ETFs out there. But in today's video, we are going to discuss an ETF that has fallen under the radar. But we think this is an amazing stock that everyone should consider owning. Welcome back to another Dividend Bear video. I am glad to see that you are watching our videos again. In order to improve the quality of the channel, I would like to ask each and every one of you to comment on the thing that you like about the channel and one thing that you don't. Also, let me know what video I should do next. Also, we've noticed that only a few percent of you guys watching are only or actually subscribed. So subscribe now for more content like this one. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Today's ETF that we are going to discuss is none other than the iShares International Developed Property ETF. I think that investing in real estate properties is a really attractive idea because it is one of the most stable investing environments out there, not to mention the high dividend yield that the fund has to offer. Also, the fact that they own real estate in so many sectors is just enough to convince me that this fund is here to stay for a long time. WPS is an investing fund that tracks a market cap weighted index of companies that own or develop real estate throughout the developed world, excluding the United States. That means that you are getting exposure to the global real estate market, which is diversified across many different sectors, such as real estate operating companies, retail REITs, industrial REITs, and office REITs. You are accessing a broad range of international real estate stocks and REITs which invest in real estate directly. With the current yield of around 5% and expense ratio of 0.48%, I really think that this stock is a bargain. The fund's assets are worth over 43 million United States dollars, which is really a serious amount of money. WPS owns the most real estate in Japan, with around 30% of the fund's assets invested over there followed by China, Australia, and Singapore. The ETF's top holdings include companies such as Goodman Group, Mitsui Fudosan, Vonovia, and Mitsubishi Estate Company. Another cool thing that I find really interesting is that the fund is 100% invested only in developed countries. That means that it is far more stable than funds that do the same thing but in developing countries. WPS also has a solid dividend history behind its back. It has not missed a single dividend since 2010. They had to do a small cut during the financial crisis in 2008, but other than that, the fund has been increasing its dividends slowly but surely. Of course, as we can see, the current situation of the stock is not that good because of the worldwide events going on. Most of the stocks have significantly lowered their prices and WPS is no exception. However, smart investors know that it is better to pile up with stocks right now when they are discounted rather than start buying them when the market has already recovered and the price is doubled or tripled. As you saw from the charts in the video, the only two times the fund has struggled is when the pandemic got announced and when the invasion in Ukraine was announced. That means that the fund is only affected by really, really strong worldwide events. Please do not hate on me for what I have to say and please do your own research. But I think that this stock is a buy everywhere below $24.5. I personally have piled up around 100 to 150 shares and I am hoping for the best. Let's see what the future has to offer. I think that the last thing I need to mention is that as with everything else in the stock market, you can lose all or part of your money investing in WPS. Some of the major risks that can happen include Number 1. Geographic Risk A natural disaster could occur in a geographic region in which the fund invests, which could adversely affect the economy or the business operations of companies in the specific geographic region, causing an adverse impact on the fund's investments in, or which are exposed to, the affected region. Number 2. Currency Risk Because the fund's NAV is determined in US dollars, the fund's NAV could decline if the currency of a non-US market in which the fund invests depreciates against the US dollar or if there are delays or limits on repatriation of such currency. 
Currency exchange rates can be very volatile and can change quickly and unpredictably. As a result, the fund's NAV may change quickly and without warning. Number 3. Cybersecurity Risk Failures or breaches of the electronic systems of the fund, the fund's advisor, distributor, the index provider and other service providers, market makers, authorized participants, or the issuers of securities in which the fund invests have the ability to cause disruptions, negatively impact the fund's business operations, and potentially result in financial losses to the fund and its shareholders. While the fund has established business continuity plans and risk management systems seeking to address system breaches or failures, there are inherent limitations in such plans and systems. Furthermore, the fund cannot control the cybersecurity plans and systems of the fund's index provider and other service providers, market makers, authorized participants, or issuers of securities in which the fund invests. With that being said, I think we have covered one amazing stock that you should research and decide if it fits your investment style. The things that I mentioned in the video are pure facts and my own opinion. I do not want any of my viewers to blindly follow my investing style nor do I want them to be scared to purchase this amazing stock. Investing is and will remain a mysterious game that only the prepared can play. Thank you guys for taking your time to watch this video. Please let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'll see you in the next one.